Okay, so we've done a chi-squared test on these website preferences for A and B. Uh, now, let's do a, a similar test, uh, but it has an important difference. It's an exact test, and it's called the binomial test. The chi-squared test, the one-sampled chi-squared test, is an asymptotic test. And that means that it's approximating the p-value that we get, and it works better and better the more data points that it has, the more samples. In fact, some people argue that maybe a chi-square test isn't good to use unless you have a thousand data points or more. We certainly have less than that. We just have 60, if you recall. So we can use an exact test, which is more computationally intensive to calculate, but which gives us the exact p-value, and the binomial test does that. We've done these previous steps to create what we need in this PRFS variable, so all we simply have to do is run the binomial test. You can see it says it's an exact test. Uh, it gives us uh, the, the data output here, and the p-value uh, you can see uh, is also very, very small. There's clearly a strong preference for website B over website A. It gives us some other output, but for our purposes now, uh, we won't worry about that. So that's the binomial test. And we'd report that uh, simply by writing that we had a binomial test with uh, 60 data points and then report the p-value. So now let's go to uh, look at our data analysis table and consider what we've done. Okay, so just having completed the binomial test, let's return to our slide of analyses and see what we've done so far. You can see I've turned one sample chi-square test and binomial test red in the top line of the first table. In the left column now, you can see that it says we've done a test for one sample and that it had two response categories. Subjects could say they either preferred website A or B. So those are the tests that we've looked at. What if there are more than two response categories? Well, we can still use a one-sample chi-square test, but if we want an exact test, we need to go away from the binomial test, which can only handle two response categories, and to something called the multinomial test. Let's return to our code and go ahead and take a look at those analyses.